Artificial intelligence presents new risks for Western-style democracy. The primary threat, according to many experts, is misinformation. That could be a perfect storm in terms of misinformation, disinformation in 2024. Rapidly advancing AI technology means inaccurate information can be custom made for each individual. And it can do that, produce very, very high quality, personalized disinformation, stuff which is tailored down to the level of individuals. And I'm really worried that actually when we go into elections, that social media is just going to be drowning in, in, in stories that are produced by AI. And we won't be able to tell what's real and what's fake anymore. Other threats include using AI to attack voting systems or for voter intent intimidation aimed at keeping citizens from voting. These are not future threats. The technology already exists to create text, speech, images, and video. Here's Russian President Vladimir Putin taking a question from an AI-generated Vladimir Putin. This was merely a demonstration of AI tech, not voter misinformation, but the potential for similar videos being used to manipulate voters is clear. And in January, an AI-created voice made to sound like Joe Biden encouraged New Hampshire primary voters to stay home. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. President Biden has called for limits on AI. Ban AI voice impersonations and more. And the U.S. Congress has held hearings on AI's threat to democracy, but the U.S. government has been notoriously slow at responding to challenges presented by fast-moving technology. Several laws and regulations have been proposed to help protect elections from the threats posed by AI, but it's unlikely any effective safeguards will be in place ahead of November's general elections. How are governments going to respond to that? What kind of institutions? This is a green space. It is a space that largely is absent rules, is absent institutions. If more is not done to shield Western democracies from the threat of AI, the end result may be a lack of faith in elections by voters. And this in turn could of course threaten democratic processes, lead to further social polarization, riots, strikes, or even intrastate violence. Which could lead other countries to lose faith in the U.S. and other Western democracies. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.